Hello everyone, welcome to the RJ Risk Medics. I am FN Donak. In this video, I am emphasizing on normal heart sound and I will make you hear normal heart sound. Make sure that you use your earphone for better optimizations. So let's begin. We all are familiar that our heart produces sound due to the closing of heart valves. Actually, the heart valves are divided into two groups. Now, first is AV valve, that means arterioventicular valve. It includes mitral valve and tricuspid valve. The mitral valve lies on left side of heart and separates left artery from left ventricle. And tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve separates right artery from right, right ventricle. Now, the second group is semilunar valves. The semilunar valves includes aortic valve and pulmonary valve. The aortic valve lies between left ventricle and aorta and pulmonary valve lies between right ventricle and pulmonary trunk. The function of this valve is to maintain unidirectional flow of blood. Otherwise, regurgitation of blood takes place. Uh, actually, the sound is produced due to the closing of this valve. Our heart sounds literally seems like speaking the word lub dub, lub dub, lub dub over a repetition of cycle. The lub component of sound is produced due to closure of AV valve and the dub component of sound is produced due to closure of semilunar valves. Now here, normal lub dub repetition of heart sound. Our heart is situated in such a way that heart sounds is transmitted across chest wall. So these are the auscultative areas for the heart sound auscultation. Number first, aortic valve auscultation. For the auscultation of aortic valve, we have to put the diaphragm of stethoscope at right second intercostal space. The intercostal space means the space between two ribs. For the auscultation of pulmonary valve, we have to put stethoscope at left second intercostal space. For the mitral valve, we have to put stethoscope at left fifth intercostal space, medial to mid clavicular line. The mid clavicular line means an imaginary line passing to the center of clavicle. For examination of tricuspid valve, we have to put stethoscope at the left lower border of sternum. Now, first heart sound. The first heart sound is known as S1 sound or lub component. This is produced due to the closure of mitral valve or tricuspid valve at the beginning of ventricular systole. When the blood moves from atrium to ventricle, there is an opening of this valve, AV valve takes place. But remember, opening of valve does not responsive for this S1 sound. Only the closure of valves responsive for heart sound. Now, second heart sound. The second heart sound is known as S2 sound or dub component from lub dub. This is produced due to the closure of semilunar valves. It is differentiated from S1 sound in terms of loudness and pitch. The S2 sound has higher pitch and higher loudness compared to S1. Also, there is a physiological splitting of S2 sound takes place. The splitting means the heart's S2 sound is divided into two portions. This splitting takes place because our left ventricle has contract earlier than the right ventricle. As a result, there is an earlier closure of aortic wall than pulmonary wall, which gives splitting of S2 sound. And this splitting is increased in inspiration because in inspiration, our body diaphragm has to move downward. This creates negative pressure and the splitting is increased. While on expiration, the splitting is disappears. The splitting seems like the word lub the lub, lub the lub, lub the lub instead of normal lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. I will make you hear the splitting of heart sound. So this is a splitting of heart sound. Please hear.
Now the third heart sound or S3 sound. This sound is produced just after the S2 heart sound. It is mainly due to rapid filling of left ventricle. And this sound is best heard at apex of heart. The apex of heart at, lies at fifth intercostal space. This S3 sound seems like hearing the word Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. So please hear the S3 sound. This third heart sound or S3 sound is found normal in young children, young adults and athletics. But the presence of third heart sound after the age of 40, it is in pathological condition and it represents the left ventricular failure. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.